Here we go. Here we now go. we're back. Now oh, we're back. This. We are back. We have another interview. Oh, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one. We've been we've been running the gamut. Who do we we've talked to uh, reps? We talked to cigar lounges. We talked owners, to cigar right. makers, owners. Yes, uh, musicians. Uh, Poets. With poets? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Woo, and guy. now, ladies and gentlemen, please introduce yourself. I'm learning who she is at the same time you do. I am Desiree, the owner of Drunk Chicken Cigars. Oh, yes. Oh, Drunk yo. Chicken has oh, been. okay. They've okay. been plastered all over Philly Cigar Week. I love it. I love yes, it. Yes, yes. I love um, the marketing approach. Absolutely. John has definitely blessed me with this opportunity to be part of Philly Cigar Week, and it's been an amazing week. So if you are nearby or if you just want to jump on a plane, we still have Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun. My feet hurt so bad. Oh, yeah. so yeah. oh I know it. Yeah, I know we, it. We know the pain. Trust yeah, we me. know the pain right now. <laughs> and, I, and I've heard of drunken chicken, drunk chicken, and seen him around. Kay has him, right? Yes. I believe, Kay, so, to, I believe yeah. Kay told me about yeah. them, if I'm not mistaken. Kay, yeah. Kay, yeah, Kay, yeah. Yeah, Cigar Sensations, yeah. yep. That's yes. so. So let's sit, let's get into this, right? How long have you been uh, doing this? Be careful, please. Um, you know, I'm good. Um, <laughs> I've been doing this. I started my business in 2019. My first sale was January 2020. 2020. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we're in 75 lounges. We're in a casino, a couple bars across the U.S. Nice, I like nice. it. I like well, it. Well, I have a question for you. What inspired you to to, to create your own cigar? I never, uh, the cigars were made for me and my fiance, period. <laughs> we oh. travel a lot, we smoke a lot. Nice. And when you have a habit, two people that smoke two, three, four cigars a, a, a day, day. Uh -huh. and they're 10 plus dollars a pop. <laughs> yes. A little yes. expensive. It's a little expensive. expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so what we did, we ran across a group of rollers that mm. um, we partnered with, okay. and we asked them, hey, you know, if you can um, make some cigars for us, We'll b promise to buy uh, um, 500. There you go. So we actually bought, we, we worked with them and came up with the five blends. Okay. And the five blends are the um, DCO, mm -hmm. the full body um, Mexican San Andreas with the um, Lajero. Okay. Then we have the Mother Clucker, which is the Habano with the Ecuadorian filler. Mm -hmm. We have the Fat Hen, which is Ecuadorian and um, Dominican filler, but the same Habano. And we have the Living a Dream with the same Habano wrapper, but all Dominican. And mm -hmm. we have the Sweet Dream, which I'm smoking right Sweet now. Dream, okay. um, I've been smoking a lot today, so I have to start, <laughs> start yeah. going on the mild side, <laughs> um, which is Connecticut and um, Nicaraguan, and it has a sweet tip. Mm -hmm. So those five were made for us based on the, how we smoke, mm -hmm. um, what we like to smoke, and we bought 100 cigars of each. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, yeah. okay. So, so we start going around on our lounges and people were like what you smoke we said our cigar yeah and it wasn't to be cute but or whatever and we handed them out to people they said oh you should really sell these okay. so then i went to my friend who owned the lounge and said would you buy this could you sell this at your lounge they said absolutely nice but you gotta change that band <laughs> and it was just a, ba a picture of our chicken okay that okay. was it and um on travel i went to another lounge in um alabama and said hey i i, I just curious don't know the guy, never mm. met him before in my okay. life. Would you sell this? Could you try it out and tell me? Loved it, told me, yeah, I'll sell it, but you have to change that band. Wow. <laughs> that it was, was a theme. In 2019, a theme. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, of course, I looked into it. We changed the band, 2020, um, January 2020. We made our first sale to those two lounges that said they would buy it. Yeah. Changed the band. The 22nd, the 23rd, we flew to... Um, uh, Virgin Islands, we made our third sale. Nice. And we've been going ever since. Going hard. Well, going well my other question is, how did you come up with the name, though? Nice. We have a chicken farm called the Drunk Chicken. <laughs> okay, okay. That okay. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, there you go. It Very was simple. called Crazy Dog, Mad Dog. We bought the URLs. And um, right. <laughs> funny what story, happened? we were in Martinez in um, – and they hand roll cigars in um, New York. Okay. Love their cigars. Shout out to Martinez. There you go. Um, great cigars. Um, but he said, "Why um, Mad Dog?" I said, "It's just a name." He said, "No, you got mean something. What's the story?" About right, right. You? And uh, and we looked at each other. We're like, "No story." He said, "You have to have a name that means something to you." We both looked at each other and said, "Drunk Chicken." Yep. And, and there it is. Yeah, I, so, well, let me let me. So, was the 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 concept initially? 
for just you and your your husband to, or fiance to smoke the cigars. That's it. That's wow. It. wow. So it was never meant to sell. Wow. Oh, never meant to sell. Never awesome. meant to sell. Um, since then we um, we did try to do the homicidal hen to sell. Uh -huh. It is the broadleaf cigar. Uh -huh. um, that's the wrapper. However, we 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 did test market it. Everybody loved it. We had people wanting to pre-order. I said, wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I get a couple boxes. I said, go ahead, go make me 200 boxes. Mm -hmm. They made me 14 boxes, ordered some more broadleaf, broadleaf shortage. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, so I can't even sell those cigars. I have 14 boxes, so now it's only exclusive. So when it's I'm about to say that the price just went up on those. Well, now, <laughs> and the price didn't go up. I mean, on your cigars, the ones you have now. Yes, um, I don't sell them. Right. I give them away if you buy a box. Okay. At okay, an nice. event. Yeah. Nice. Got well, it. They're at event cigars now. All right. All right. So now well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask the question first. I think I know the answer, but is, is the only cigar you smoke drunk chicken? No. no so what? What? When you don't want a drunk chicken, what are you reaching for? Wow. Um, mm. One of the things I do, because I like to smoke cigars that I haven't smoked before. Okay. okay. When I go into a new humidor, the first thing I look for, and I can't remember names. I, too many. Right. Okay. There's too many names. I look for bands, and I'm glad they told me, you know, look, change your bands. Cause now we, <laughs> right. Now you, you, we, we that, get familiar with. Listen, yeah. we are pretty brand lovers. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty bands. Yeah. So I look for bands that I haven't smoked before. Okay. And so I, that's what I do. Okay. And because I'm you, a little OCD. Mm-hmm. More than a little. Okay. <laughs> By a uh, little, I mean a lot. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I, I do research every cigar I smoke, mm -hmm. um, and I put it on this huge Excel spreadsheet. Oh, wow. Really? Wrapper, binder, filler. That's OCD, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But it serves me well. Yeah. Um, because I also know what I like, what I don't like, right. and I also can see what's popular and what's not with that spreadsheet. Okay. Right. Nice. I got a question for you. Um, so I heard. So how I got onto your cigars? I was overseas. Kay sent me some cigars. And uh, if I know some of you, you are you a veteran? I'm sorry. Are you a veteran? Um, my fiance. Fiance is a veteran. veteran. Yes, okay. Because she was telling me something that you were somewhere in the service. Because so I thank you because you helped me out a lot because I was overseas and I was feeding for some cigars. <laughs> and Kay was nice enough to say, "Hey, these cigars came out. Try them out." And for me, my favorite is, uh, at that time, I think you have the Maduro. Yes, the DCL. DCL, that's Maduro. Great cigar. Thank Highly you. recommend it. Thank you, Highly thank you. It. DCL's yeah. Drunk Chicken, what? Drunk Chicken Original. Oh, okay. No, DCO. Oh, got it, got it. Original. Okay. Why is the original? That was the first one that we both said, yeah, we love yeah. that. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good cigar. What Drunk uh, Chicken cigar would you recommend for the ladies? Ooh. You know what? I don't recommend anything for the ladies. What I recommend is the individual palettes. Because Try ladies em. are just as sophisticated smokers as men. Indeed, that's so, a good answer. There you go. Um, I my first question to anybody that approaches me about a drunk chicken cigar is what should I buy? Is what do you like to smoke? Right, right. So if you are a mild smoker, mm -hmm. I do living a dream or sweet dream. Sweet dreams is a sweet tip. Okay. Living a dream is the smoothest cigar smoothest. we have. Okay. If you are a medium smoker, I say fat hen. Or the mother clucker. Mother clucker. If you like a little pepper, it's the mother clucker. If you like a smooth, creamy cigar, it's the fat hand. If you like Maduros, I say the DCO. 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 Yeah. Yes, so indeed. DCO. It is just the, what do you like to smoke, ladies? Stop letting them pick. I know that is a better way to go. I just wanted, <laughs> like, for a first-time smoker, and, and they don't know what they like to smoke. Right. I wanted you to tell them, if you reach it for a drunk chicken, ladies, try this one. But it is a shot in the dark because we don't know where they're going to go, where their palate's going to lead them. Right. So it is a shot in the dark, but it was a question I wanted to ask. That's all. So first-time <laughs> smoker, lady or man, I'm going to point them to the mild. Yeah, bar. right, yes, right. Yes, to, yes. On the safe side. Yes. Yes, yes. I don't want them getting sick and say, I'm never going to again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you for having me. I'm sure everything's fell apart since you left the, yes. your, your table no, over there. Actually, I walked by like uh -oh. stalking me. Uh -oh. <laughs> like, where is she? <laughs> Thanks. But, but before you leave, you got to tell them your website and where All you right, can find um, it. Um, DrunkChickenCigars.com. Drunk chickencigars.com You know how to spell it. I don't know. Everybody <laughs> I hear drunken chicken. We're not drunken yet. We're drunk. <laughs> and um, Instagram is drunk chicken cigars. 
Twitter is D Chicken Cigars. Facebook is Drunk Chicken Cigars. So if you Google it, you will find us. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Bye. you. Enjoy the rest of your party. Yeah. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> I know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We will be back we'll in be two back. seconds. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. See you. Whew, hold on. We, we need to take, give it, we gotta take a potty break.